y'all the girls are fighting in front of the edible arrangement store <laughs> Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the vlog. Today is, what's today? Where's my phone? Today is February 11th, it is Friday. I guess some people would call it Valentine's Day weekend. We don't really celebrate Valentine's Day like that but we are going to go and get a couple drinks. Y'all see I done got ready. Ah, yes, I did a little bit. Can y'all tell that my makeup's a little bit light? I decided not to put on a lot of makeup, so I just did concealer and bronzer and a little eyeshadow and a little lashes and some eyebrows. So basically a full face without foundation. But the hair is from Atina Hair. This hair I actually colored myself, but this is like the kinky curly to kinky straight or the curly to kinky straight wet and wavy hair. Love this wig. I mean like one of my favorites in love with this hair. So we're gonna head out. Let me show y'all what I'm wearing. I think the outfit is cute. Oh, I need to put on my shoes. The hair is bouncing. So I did um, satin rollers on this hair. I took the wig off. I put the satin rollers on while the wig was on my head and then I took the wig off and let it curl. And these are the curls I got so pretty. Y'all have to get those satin rollers. I actually did a video for my Amazon wig favorites and those satin rollers are on it. I think if you wear wigs, you need to get them because you don't have to worry about curling your hair or anything. And if you like these sort of curls, especially on like kinky straight hair, oh, so easy to do. Why am I breathing so hard? I'm just putting on a shoe. Why is it so hard to put on a shoe? Oh my God. Let me show y'all what I got on. Hold on. I'm gonna go this way. So y'all can see. It's easier to see this way. Where's the light? Y'all, there are marks on this mirror. So the top is from Nordstrom. The bottoms are from Amazon. These are the, the faux leather pants that I showed y'all, I think like two weeks ago in a vlog in these shoes or Adidas, I was about to say Adidas. Adidas from Amazon as well. It's like a cute little casual outfit. I wanted to show y'all this way because that mirror is dirty. Y'all can't really see it. But I love these pants because they like kind of cinch in at the waist. The waist could be like a little bit smaller, but the bottom fits really well. So there's this new restaurant called Lazy Dog that we're gonna go to, just like a bar, they have a happy hour and stuff like that. So we're gonna see if we're gonna pop by there, have a couple drinks, it's really nice out. Usually, lately in Atlanta, it's been like really cold, like uncomfortably cold in like the 30s and 40s. And today it is, I think it's 69 degrees, almost 70. So it's just nice to get outside. I love the sun. Once I get outside, I'm happy. Winter time just depresses me. It makes me sad. So I also want to see if I can take full body pictures from my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, always a mirror. Probably will see that there are barely any uh, full body pictures because it's just hard to take them. And I get weird when I take full body pictures. I don't know. I don't know how the girls do it. I got ready today thinking I was going to, but I just don't feel like posing. I don't know. I wish I knew how to just take a picture. My brother's a photographer, I could ask him. Oh, one last thing. I didn't tell y'all yesterday while I was filming my favorites video right before. I think I said it in my video. Uh, girl, I fell. <laughs> like I fell hoard. Like no reason for me to fall. I fell right over here and I fell into this uh, tree, that this little uh, thing that you always see behind me and I broke my trash can. So I had to get a new, look how bad. I broke my trash can like what I think I tripped on this but I'm really not sure what I tripped on I also hit my chin right here and it was like a full makeup mark right there right here in this area and now I got a bruise like I don't know does that happen I have a bruise on this arm and my hands kind of sore I'm fine but 
How how do you just fall like that? Of course, I'm wearing this bag, my coach bag. I love it. I need to get another one though because I'm starting to wear it too much. It's every day. I ain't got no other bag to wear, so and I can't even close it. I'll see y'all when we get there. I'm just running my mouth. So we made it back home after going to Lazy Dog and eating. I think we stayed there for about, what was it, like two hours? We had a happy hour from three to six. It was actually really, really good. My favorite thing on the menu was their fried deviled eggs. I ate like, I think we ate about six each. We did three orders of those. They were so good. I'm really full. I had a margarita a spicy margarita and one of their happy hour chardonnays after that we went to go take pictures now let me girl i'm trying to, i told y'all before we left that i was trying to learn how to take a picture and my husband my great husband he did a great job taking the photo i'm trying to get used to being in the photo like my face was greasy so it was giving harsh this is a cute photo though right i look really tiny you can't see me this is a cute one I'm gonna need to edit my face. But that's cute with my little leather pants and my little tennis shoes. I'm gonna have to get used to taking pictures. If y'all have any tips, if you take pictures on Instagram, full body pictures, please let me know. Cause I'm trying to learn. It's giving class photo. <laughs> what is going on? And I try and give BBL. Mm. <laughs> Girl, you ain't got no BBL, let it go. <laughs> In my head, my fatter than this <laughs> i'm gonna try and edit some of these photos but i do like some of them it's still really nice out so i mean we're done for today i may i'm gonna have a glass of wine and i was thinking about having a glass of wine on the patio but it's starting to get chilly especially in the shade so but yeah actually let me pour a glass of wine now. but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of these clothes and just kind of relax i'm not taking this wig off yet it's too cute it's getting dark fast. Y'all know what? I can't wait until daylight savings time is over because I am ready for it to be sunny. Girl, let me not waste camera time. I'll see y'all after I change and oh, relax. Oh, look at that hairline though. Oh, crusty girl. <laughs> let me get off this camera. Remember when y'all when I told y'all that my time management is bad? <laughs> Here we are. A full example of me and my time management. So me and my husband are supposed to be doing like going to Politan Square. At, wait, Politan Row at Colony Square. I heard about it from Rodney the Voice. Shout out to Rodney the Voice. If you love content where you cackle, you laugh, and mess, that's what you need to watch. But he came to Atlanta and he went to Politan Row at Colony Square and he was saying like the girls need to go and we're going but I'm going and I'm gonna be looking cute I'm gonna have eyebrows and everything it looked crazy to have lashes with no eyebrows but I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my wig I've already prepped my wig and this is how I've learned to prep my wigs I put those satin rollers on first and then like I kind of clip it up in the back and I just sit it on my mannequin. It's only been sitting for like an hour. So the curls may not set, but at least they'll like look, the hair won't be just all over the place. Cause it was just in a bin a few minutes ago. Oh my God, it's hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on this wig. Let me blow dry. I already put my uh, gel on my forehead. I already put the gel on. And then we're just gonna go ahead and plop on the wig, set her up and throw on some makeup so i'm just gonna speed through this part because i'm rushing and i can't be running my mouth but i'm gonna do like quick easy makeup just so you know i don't wear foundation now 
because it's collecting in my lines girl i'm in my 30s the less product i wear the better the better my skin looks so we're gonna go minimal we don't have to deal girl hopefully i don't sweat this off okay so we're gonna get ready quickly okay so i told y'all that i don't wear foundation i use the mac 24 hour studio fix concealer and i use this as like a color corrector it's in the color nw45 it kind of color corrects like all my dark areas i just put it in these main areas i guess it could kind of be like foundation but it's not but it's a little bit peachy orange and then it helps to like conceal some of that um discoloration and i just added it all over my nose because what you see and then i put a concealer over it it's kind of like a foundation but not really i don't think i'm gonna be wearing like eyeshadow and stuff like that today but you see it's like kind of orange but once i put concealer over it it's gonna be like you won't see any of my discoloration do it over my eyelids too navigating around lashes is just too much okay so i'm gonna go back in with my nc 45 concealer and then actually do my highlighting and for bronzing and contouring i use the espresso uh la girl pro conceal concealer and i use the espresso around the perimeters of my face and then i set it with my golden almond finish powder but i do this on my highlight areas and i do the milk chocolate finish on my bronzing areas so these are both from black radiance that's it girl keep it easy simple simple so i'm just gonna finish the rest of the face speed this up but i can do like an in-depth tutorial if you want but like i told y'all i'm in a rush i need to hurry up we're gonna take some of this and I gotta put it high up on the cheek. Don't put it low, cause it drags the face down. But then that's it. There you go. Then I'll just drag that around the forehead. Easy, we're gonna do the bronzer first. Lips are crusty, child. So I'm dressed and ready to go. The hair didn't really curl like I thought it would, but that's okay. Um, as for my outfit, I had to do something since I told y'all we're going to Palatin Row. I think you're gonna have to walk a lot. I thought about wearing heels, but I feel like that would be silly. So since I don't have any boots, I wore them same tennis shoes that I wore yesterday. And I feel like the outfit is cute. The top, I think this top is from Nordstrom Rack. I think it's like a t-shirt bodysuit. The bottoms, these leather pants are from Naked Wardrobe and 
These are the same Adidas I wore yesterday. I'm gonna wear it with that jacket that y'all probably sick of me wearing from Amazon. I'm gonna wear it with that because that's what I wanna wear it with. But I think the outfit is cute. And this hair, ooh, where is this hair from? <clears throat> uh, I can't remember. I need to figure out where this hair is from. Eunice hair. This is, you or Eunice. You know the girls get upset when I say Eunice, but it's Eunice hair. I don't like it saying it like that, it's Eunice hair. Um, really pretty. And I love how like, it gives you like this lioness sort of look. Yeah, that's everything. I'll see y'all once we get out there, throw on my jacket. I don't think I need one. Right now it's about 68 degrees it's outside, which is nice. It's warm, but it's only gonna be warm for, or warmer for maybe a couple more hours and then it's gonna get cold again. So we will see y'all once we get out there. I'm really excited. I was sweating under this wig, but thank God. Oh yeah, I have some lifting lace somewhere in here. If it lifts up and you see it on video, girl, mind your business, okay? I don't, it was just being disrespectful today. But I think the wig looks good. It's a cure, baby. Okay, I'll see y'all when we get out there. The place is really, really cute. We're trying to find a place to to have lunch. And it's like, it's gonna be a late lunch. So there's a lot of restaurants here, but, ooh, is it sushi? It's like a little small little sushi spot. Yeah. Ay, look, ay, um, bread it up like sandwich. Are you okay? Working on my tantric hand trick for your whole sake. Stunting like I better be recipe for my own cake. Heavenly, my pedigree better me for my own sake. Bread it up like sandwich. Are you okay? Working on my tantric hand trick for your whole sake. Stunting like I better be recipe for my own cake. Heavenly, my pedigree better me for my. Look. Drip on me puddling, vibe spiritual My life did 180, low-key a miracle Pull up looking spacey up in the coupe But it feel like a spaceship, I'm floating, I'm faded You know the vibes It's love when I slide Baddie on call say she f*** with my type But I hit decline cause I'm one of a kind So we left uh, Colony Square What do you think? Paulus and Row at Colony Square It's actually really good The last place we went to Had a cute little spot But now we're headed Now we're in What is this? The Buckhead? What is this called? I don't know, Buckhead Village. Oh yes. Now we're at the Buckhead Village and we're trying to find somewhere to drink and eat. We forgot that it's Valentine's Day weekend. I always thought people oh, yeah. celebrated on Valentine's Day, but it's Valentine's Day weekend. So now we have to find somewhere to have a drink and eat something for dinner. But everybody is packed. That bar looked packed. But since it's Valentine's Day weekend, the girls are taking up all the restaurants. Like it's just, it's pretty packed. We're trying to look for American Cut yeah. because they have a rooftop bar. I already looked at the curb. Right. Did you see me almost trip? You I said, didn't. Yeah. No, I didn't. You did this right <laughs> No, I didn't. We're just guessing where um, Southern Gentleman's right there. That's American, American Cut. Oh, it's right here. Where? Oh, St. Germain right there. Is it? I think we're just guessing. We're not gonna take the elevator anyway. What is this place called? American Cut. This is not American Cut. This is American Cut, go this ahead. This is the region. The region, then region. why'd you ask me? Because I tried to remember. Okay. I had margarita on my jacket. Not on my shoes though. 
There you go. Sorry. You always try to leave the jacket, leave the house with no jacket. It was warm earlier, but we went to the Paulton Row and that shit was drafty as How about straw look like that? What should you do to a straw? Yeah, all the straws are brown. I see what they're doing. That's a good margarita. Is it? I shouldn't ask what the cost of this. No, you shouldn't ask. Because some people be charging like that one girl at Red Pepper. She don't know any any better. She charges thirty four dollars for two damn margaritas. I've never heard of that in my life. Yeah, because it was cheap. But... The other place, yeah. But she charged it wrong. She oh, Topanga looking at. She was a cute girl. Uh, but she was. You thought she was cute. I saw well, it in you your eyes. You, you was thought looking... I was. You said you saw what? I saw it in your eyes. You thought she was cute. I don't understand. You didn't think she was cute? I didn't say anything. I didn't say either way. But I know how you try to do that though. Good try. Don't try and be Jim. I'm not Jim. <laughs> Jim did that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at the Regent, which is the rooftop for American Cut. American Cut wasn't taking any walk-ins because it's Valentine's Day weekend, so. But they do have food here, so we can order like a burger, some wings, yeah. stuff like that for dinner. But we just want to go inside, even though they have like these little lamps right here. That's exactly they don't it's do basically nothing. it's a candle. Okay. Why is he standing like that? Why does James Harden stand like that? <laughs> but I got a, a skinny margarita. Snowflaw basement. Mm -hmm. IPA. Oh, we cheers right here, so we didn't get inside. I'm just trying to survive. You're all right. The yeah, view up here is nice. I can't wait till it gets warm. Like just yeah, a this little would be bit a nice warmer. Spot to go Ten to degrees next warmer, warm. it'd be nice. What are you looking looking at it? But it's nice over here in this little corner. We're sitting in these little <clears throat> couches. It's not that. That's actually a little bit warm. Is it? Let me, see. Let me feel that heat. I'm warm. You're warm? Mm -hmm. This Amazon deck is really warm. Because it goes down to your legs. So. I wonder what they got there. You wanna look? My husband went inside to look for a table. So, girl, we're just sitting out here. Yes, girl, we got a table. Valentine's Day. Yeah, today is Monday, February 14th. And today's Valentine's Day, actually. Um, the last time I saw y'all, I think we went out this weekend to where do we go? Politan Row. We did a couple things out there, had a little date night. It was so much fun. We were out from four until well, girl, 10. And then we was happy to go home. I just finished filming a video for this V part wig. And now I'm headed out to get to Target. I need to do like a little grocery store run. And then we just gonna come back home so we can go to bed. Very, very simple day, but I just need to go pick up some stuff. But I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm wearing a really basic outfit. Let me show y'all here. This is like my errands, my errands outfit. Can you see? Girl, I need to get a better, I need more room. It's just my little champion hoodie. Uh, this was from the men's section. So it's like a little champion hoodie. Some tights, some workout tights from Amazon. And I'm just gonna throw on my little white tennis shoes. And that's it. And my little coach bag. We're gonna head back to the area so I can buy another coach bag because I'm wearing this bag out already. Like she's already tired. So I need to, I need to get a new bag. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to head out and I'll see y'all when we get to Target. Is it just Target I'm going to? Oh, I'm going to Whole Foods. Girl, I'm making the same runs that I always do. Boring. But I'll see y'all in a minute. Oh, I look cute. Cute, cute, cute. Here's a better look at the outfit, I think. 
Y'all have seen this outfit before. I like it with my little Mr. T chains. Probably would look better without the wig, but the wig is on, so I'm not taking it off. Throw on my shoes. I have been loving these white Adidas. I need to get another pair of white shoes because I don't want to wear these out and get them dirty, but they're so cute with everything. Only thing I don't like is that they don't have, uh, you can't, you can't just slide them on. Like you can slide them on, but you'll get the back of your shoes dirty. If you keep doing that, you know? Tie my shoe. Oh, I didn't tell y'all where this wig was from. Um, the wig is from Nadula Hair. And it's a kinky curly V part wig. It looks so natural. <clears throat> the only thing is my natural hair, like I probably shouldn't have pre-straightened it, but whatever. A little side note. Do y'all get ovulation? This is like girl talk, but do y'all get like ovulation? Cramp like when you're ovulating, like you get cramps. I get them and they're like almost as bad as my regular cramps. And it exhausts me. I'm exhausted right now. Like I just can't catch a break. I really can't catch a break. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna toss on some perfume. The perfume that I like to wear is the number 21. What brand is this? Mix Bar perfumes. I love these for my like my PM perfumes and just like my day out. I got them from I get them from Target, and these are more like natural sort of perfumes. So I love picking these up. I need to go pick up. I'm actually gonna pick some up today because I'm out. So Y'all pay attention to my little towel right here. Don't pay attention to these. Spray on some perfume. This is Cloud Musk, but my favorite is Wood Elixir. And these are you supposed to be able to mix. And my deodorant that I wear is a natural deodorant. It's Love Beauty and Planet. It's plant-based plant deodorizers with no aluminum. But it has like fragrance in it, which I don't think is good for you. Some natural deodorants have like coconut oil in it and then it will ruin your clothes. So I try not to use the ones with oils. Okay. I'm doing way too much. I need to head out. I've been supposed to have left. Hey girlies, we're in the car and I'm headed to Target like I told y'all. It is still light out and it's six something. Oop. Hold on. What's this about? Cancel um it's six something and it's still light out which makes me so happy i don't know about y'all but i don't know if this is called daylight savings time but this time change ruins my mood like screws it up okay i don't be want to do nothing i be tired i only like to go out when it's light outside when it's dark i don't want to go outside when it's dark and cold like i really do feel like i have like a seasonal affective disorder because my mood will be screwed up when it's cold out. Like I can't, I just can't, I cannot. But um, anyway, first I'm gonna head to my mailbox cause I have a wig to pick up for a wig review. And then I'm gonna go by Target. And there's a couple things I wanna pick up at Target. Remember I had told y'all I wanna pick up home decor stuff and this week I am doing home decor. Lies, fairy tales and fallacies. I be lying to y'all, I'm sorry. I just haven't, um, I have been busy this week and I have, I'm so indecisive. I think what I will do, okay, so I could be lying, but what I will be doing tomorrow is I'm going to be printing out some, downloading some prints and printing them out at the local print shop on some poster paper so I can put them. Ooh, maybe I can buy the frames today. Ooh. <laughs> I need to figure out something because I do need to put some photos on the wall. I think it'll make me feel a lot better. I also want to get lamps. But see, my husband is, see, my biggest problem with decor is that I want to do something and then my husband's really picky. Like, he's really like, he's like, yeah, do whatever you want to do. And then when I show him something, he's like, mm, not that, mm, not that, mm, not that, mm, I don't like that, mm, I don't like that. He's gonna tell me if he likes something or doesn't like something. So if he doesn't like it, it's not like I'm not gonna get it. Like if he says like, oh, okay, then I can do it. But like him saying like, 
mm, I don't like that. I'm not gonna put something in a house that he don't like. Done it before, I regretted it because it ended up being ugly. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we had to keep it for some years because we was broke. So, um, you know, now we have more wiggle room, but I don't wanna just buy stuff for no reason. Anyway, so I be lying to y'all, my bad. I was supposed to be decorating. I'm not, not right now, but I'm, I'm gonna figure something out. Another thing, y'all, like I love this wig. I think it's super cute. But one thing I'm noticing, like I think I have wig dysmorphia, like hair dysmorphia or something. Because I'm sorry, I don't. I'm not trying to make up a diagnosis, but I love how this wig looks. But my forehead, I'm used to like losing about this much of my forehead, and my forehead being pulled back and tightening my skin. And now that it that we don't do that, um, now that I have on this V part wig and it's not doing that, I feel like it's giving too much forehead. I don't like that. So I feel like it's in my head though, because it's not like it's like really ugly. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of annoying. But he didn't even got no bass, girl. Why your music so loud? What a stereo system, like what? <laughs> Like I got a, a system in my Honda or in our Nissan, no ma'am. Sis thing, she bumping, don't she? Grab. Choose as well because they have a for aviation. This is annoying. Boy, I'm trying to vlog and you over here with this music, honey. Okay, I'ma see, I'm, I need to get past this man because see, the girls are trying to bump with factory systems, okay? In your Chrysler system, grab. He's just trying to listen to his music and live his life, and I'm hating. <laughs> Girl, I need my mind. That's what I need to do. We're going to be in my P.O. box soon, and once we get there, I'm going to pick up my wig, and then we're going to go back to Target. I'm going to bring y'all in Target with me. I'm not going to bring y'all in the P.O. box store because no, ma'am. <gasps> oh, I'm going to be reviewing some more um, like wig products and stuff. I bought a new wig product, off, wig product off Instagram and I'm super excited. I'm gonna get back to doing that. At first, when I was only doing one video a week, I, I focused on sponsored because I need to pay my bills. But now I got other videos I can zoom. Let me turn my lights on. So, y'all, the girls are fighting in front of the edible arrangement store. <laughs> Girl, they are yelling. I can't show these people. But they're in front of the edible arrangement store. Girl, it's Valentine's Day. Where's the love? Oh, girl, they really fighting. I'm going to roll the window down. See if y'all can hear. Oh, he's just threatening that man, girl. Uh-uh. What is going on? What's tea? The girls are fighting over chocolatey fruit. Let me get my ass. has gotten good in here. Okay, so <laughs> now the police done pulled up. The man drove away. I already went inside and grabbed my package. But the man drove away and now the police is here. So it's a day of love. Girl, let me get away from here because I don't want nothing to do with this. Hello? Y'all don't know me? I didn't even get out the car, girl. That's one thing my mama had taught me. She told me anytime you see a fight, go the other way because you don't know what they're going to pull out. Especially these days, child. The girls be over, overly excited about the toys. You know, pull it out for no reason. This man was upset. He was trying to get his edible arrangement. Girl. Just put some chocolate on some cantaloupes yourself, girl. Don't get to fighting over it. I was really trying to see what the tea was, though. So. What y'all girls talking about? What you doing? Y'all about to fight? <laughs> say you saw. Mm -mm, don't pull out fast right here. Oh, I don't know how to drive my... 
I know how to drive my husband's car, but his car is like bigger than mine. I got a little teeny tiny car. Okay. Um, I just wanted to give y'all an update on the mess. I don't encounter much mess on a daily basis because I be at the house. So, that was my mess of the day. That was quite interesting. Let's go ahead and get into this Target. I haven't been to Target by myself in so long. I'm so excited to go in here. Got some teas to pick up. Y'all know I love the tea. Got some teas to pick up. I'm gonna go price these frames because I do need frames. And yeah, girl, I gotta hold this. I gotta hold this camera. I really, what I need to do is get. Let me see if they have like a car mount in there. I had one. I lost it. I lost my car mount. So let's see if I can get a car mount too. Okay, so we about to go inside of the Target. Me back. Oh, lighting. That forehead, baby, is on display. You know what I decided? I'm, so we're going to get a couple things in here. But what I want, I think I want to start back getting ready every day. I know a lot of the YouTube girls say this. Influencer girls, the YouTube girls like to say they're going to start getting ready. Like waking up in the morning and getting ready. And I understand why. Because it's not because it, a lot of them say like if you get up and you start your day putting on makeup it'll make you more productive which i think whatever for some people it could be true but when you're an influencer if you wake up and get yourself ready then you're more likely to film you're more likely to get in front of the camera whereas like when you're a regular person like what do you you're not getting in front of a camera and you're not getting in front of the world you're getting in front of like you know a couple people at your job that you don't even care about now, I was the girl that wore a full beat to make up every single, a full beat of makeup and a full wig every single day. I dre I was not going to show up looking a mess. Not looking a mess, but once people saw me in full makeup, if I were to do anything less, they would ask me if something was wrong with me. So then I had to keep up the persona. But obviously being online, I don't care as much. But in the office, I don't want nobody walking up to me and like, oh my God, are you tired? The day you don't wear mascara, the girls are like, oh my God, are you tired? Oh my God, are you feeling okay? Oh my God, you look different. Like, I don't, I didn't want that. So I wore my makeup every day and my wigs. Hair was done. Everything was done. But it was only because I didn't want nobody to bother me. That's why. Now, I think I'm going to start getting ready because I want to get up and film. And it takes so much time out of my day to get ready. So like... Usually when I wake up in the morning, I do, I like, I, you know, I wash my face, I do my hair, I put on my eyebrows, and now I'm wearing lashes, but I think, I think I'm about to get all the way ready, baby. Full, maybe just, or just a wig. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna really start trying to get myself together because now that I'm vlogging, I want to be on camera, and when I'm on camera, the reality is, from the other side of YouTube, when somebody, when you see them fully ready, you see like, especially women or femmes, you see them with a full, you see films with full beats. I think people are more likely to watch you, to be honest. That's just what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside. I put on chapstick for no reason, girl. I'm about to put on this mask. I don't like this mask. It's dirty. It's got makeup in it. Let's see what other masks. Do I have another mask? I'll see y'all inside. Please tell me they got my stuff. Let me see. Girl. When I tell you the girls buy up all of the Shea Moisture mousse, I'm telling you. Where is it? Where is the mousse? Always looking for the oh girl, the curls look a mess from the front. I'm always looking for the Shea Moisture coconut and hibiscus mousse, but they are always out of it. It's so annoying. Anybody else do paperless like me? I do paperless. So we're gonna get our same boring stuff. Y'all know I'm a plant-based baddie, so I love getting these. 
beyond deep. My hands are forever ashy. I know y'all sick of me. She's beyond beef. Mm, they don't have Shea Moisture Mousse. Why do I have wine on this list? <laughs> Girl. Do I have pasta noodles? I can't remember. I'm just gonna get one little package because I don't know if I have any. One of those. This is the Barilla Red Lentil pasta noodles. Um, they're gluten free. Ooh, tea. They're gluten free and um, they're just better for you. I don't know. Do they have vanilla? Teas. Y'all know I love tea. I like the vanilla, Camaro, and the hot cinnamon sunset. Now I love chai tea, but I cannot drink chai. So I try and stay away from the girl. Where are we next? What's next on the list? My husband got my protein though. Now it's time for the fun stuff. I already got the stuff that we needed. Why does this wig look a mess from that angle? It looks better like this. I would just hold it up, but I feel like it's doing too much, so. Uh, see, this is where all of the mixed farm fragrances are to get. The girls don't bought up all the perfumes. It's annoying. Okay, so I also need individual lashes because I pulled all of mine out. Ooh. They have these lash trios from Ardell. I think I'm just gonna get these. I still have some Lashify glue. I think this is right. I'm gonna get these. Yeah, these will work. I do need a moisturizer, but girl, I don't know what to get. I just need to find a moisturizer that's gonna work for me. So they have an Ulta and Target, and I like using like natural products. I don't know. Okay, y'all made it home. After being at Target, in Target for about, how many hours? Like an hour or so. I was in there for way too long. I stopped carrying y'all around because my battery was getting low, so. I was just gonna show y'all what I got anyway afterwards. Y'all like my jacket? Thank you. Let's take this off. It's a All Saints leather jacket. I like to put all of my groceries in one big bag. Do y'all do this? Like I walk around Target and I pick up stuff and then I put stuff back. Cause I think I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this because I don't like spending money. So I put a whole bunch of stuff back. I did a whole bunch of walking around. I was trying to find a moisturizer for the longest. Like I just couldn't find anything. So I posted a full body picture on Instagram and I was really nervous about it. First of all, because you iPhone 13 girls are posting pictures with your iPhone 13 quality and I'm out here with my iPhone 10. So now it looks like I just took pictures with a surveillance camera, a ring doorbell. That's what it looks like. And I'm mad at y'all. I did do some editing. You know how you pull in the waist a little bit? Yup, did it, yup, yup. I did that and um, I did that and then I made my arm all wiggly, whatever. But I did post on Instagram. I'm gonna start doing more full body pictures. So, <laughs> okay, let me show y'all what I got from. All right, of course I had to go pick up my wig. <clears throat> Stuff, I get the same things. Like I'm late and boring, I got my tea. I love a vanilla Camaro tea. You mix it with any of your other teas, it gives it like a vanilla taste without the sugar. Yes, so I got the hot cinnamon sunset, which y'all seen me drink before, and the vanilla Camaro. 
I have some coconut oil. I use this on my body, sometimes on my face. I don't know if that's good for you, but I do use it um, as a pre-cleanse. And I got my, you know, I showed y'all these pasta noodles and my vegan meat. I have to have this because this is my, for my meal prep and my lunch. This up. Every time I go outside, my throat hurts. I don't know if it's spring time from around, but grab. Okay, so the fun stuff. Show y'all that. Well, this isn't really fun stuff, but I got um, my body wash. I use Dr. Bronner's. I like to use the lavender soap on my body, especially at night. It's so soothing, smells good. And I like pH balance soaps, and this is supposed to be a pH balance soap. I also got this pH balancing daily cleanser. I was looking for a moisturizer. It's hard for me to find a moisturizer. I need to go back to TJ Maxx because that's where I found my moisturizer last time. But I did find the Thayer's pH balance daily cleanser. I was looking for a cleanser. I did find one from Trader Joe's that I really like, but I want to find a good cleanser for my skin that's like natural. I feel like that's one of them. And, Y'all know I'm a lash baggie now. I got some more of the Falscara, the Falscara Lash System. I like the Falscara Lash System, but I, I think I like the glue and the tools more than I like the lashes. But I ran out of lashes and I feel like this stuff is getting old because I had it since December. So I got some new glue and stuff. So, you know, I don't like infect my eyes. And I also got um, some lash trios because I feel like I feel like I can wear these for my lashes because it's the same it's about the same size as these right except I like Ardell's lashes better than the Falscara lashes but I like their glue system better than I like the Ardell glue system so I decided to get both so I can reuse the glue and then I can use I can put the Ardell lashes on with that. I'm probably gonna do that on, do that tonight and see how I like it. I don't know if I have time. Otherwise, I'll end up doing it tomorrow morning. So right now, I need to just get on ready. Take off this wig. It was bothering me. Ooh. I want to fill up my tea drawer too. I want it to get like completely full, cause then I feel like a classy lady if I were to do that. See, right now my tea drawer is kind of full, but these are, are knives that my father-in-law got us. Um, there's some really, really sharp knives, but we keep them in the box. And then our, we need to take this out of here because I need to fill this whole drawer up with tea. This is my tea drawer. And I'm about to stock up on some mugs. It's about to be real cute in here. Yes. So let me take this wig off because it is not, I'm just over it. Ugh, that's a great thing about, let me not take it off in the kitchen. That's kind of gross, huh? I don't know how long I'm gonna be vlogging for it because it's supposed to be like weekly vlogs, but I just be vlogging. Whoo, come on, Chris. <laughs> I'm gonna take my hair down. Pull it back into like a, Ponytail or something. Girl, this overhead lighting is not cute. Do y'all know that feeling when you scratch your scalp, baby? I'm proud of my little tiny ponytail. It's like healthy. It's a healthy ponytail because I keep cutting my hair. Period. And oh, I have a shower head coming tomorrow. A detachable shower head. We have low um, water pressure here. So I'm excited to try that. I have some emails to send. I know some brands are mad at me. I haven't been communicating. Let me send my email so you can quit running my mouth.
days like how many days has it been today's friday Ooh, has it been since like monday i don't know or tuesday i think it's been since tuesday i think i put on these lashes they're still going on strong i think i lost like one but my husband wasn't feeling well so i wasn't vlogging because we were at home and not really doing anything but good thing is he's doing better so I said I was going to do home decor shopping and I don't like, I didn't like how yellow it was back there. I need to get better lights, but um, I was going to do some home decor shopping, but um, I just didn't have the time. Plus I was gonna order stuff on Amazon and I didn't really do that, but I did order one thing, one thing. I don't know if it's home, I don't think it's home decor. It's like, um, is this? I wonder if this is what it is. But I wanted to open it with y'all. I got it a few days ago. <gasps> okay. I got a shower head, y'all. Do y'all care? I was yesterday years old when I found out that you could get a shower head for your bathroom. What? That's so exciting. Okay, so I got the Aqua Care shower head. I wanted a shower head that, um, First of all, our pressure is low in our shower. So we be getting like real soft, you know, tickle me fancy sort of water. You can't feel clean after that. So I spend longer in the shower. So I wanted to, to get like a really good shower head. And I got the one that, this one sprays. Ooh, look how shiny. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one sprays out the top. So when I'm cleaning my bath, when I'm cleaning my shower, I can just spray down the walls because the walls don't be getting sprayed down. It's soap over there. So when you're trying to wipe it down, it just don't, it don't hit right. So it comes with a shower head. This is plastic. It comes with the shower head and all of the attachments. I'm trying to figure out which bathroom I'm gonna put it in. I think I'm gonna put it in our bathroom in our bedroom. Um, I only bought one because I wanted to see if Miss Mama was going to work. So I'm going to go try it out. I'm going to see if I can put it in our other bathroom. Or should I put it in here? If it works out, then I'm ordering another one. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. But I didn't want to buy two and then hate both of them and then still have to buy new ones. I'd much have, rather have one bathroom. It has a built-in power wash. Girl, power wash me, okay? This is supposed to be it. The reviews are bomb. I've been looking for shower heads on Amazon forever and the reviews are always mediocre. But this one is really good, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see what she's giving. Okay, y'all, so we in my bathroom. Trying to figure out how, we need to clean our glass, don't we? How I'm gonna do this. I have to get up there and put the shower head on there. Let me tell y'all, I found out I got a wrench. I said, baby, let me be careful. That means I'm a baddie. If I got a wrench in the house, we got a whole two bag. It's not a two box, it's a two bag. Okay, directions. What am I doing? Ooh. I'm already 
already like over it. I got a wrench. Hold on, let me take this whole thing off. Hold on. Shower head off. Okay. Sessing it out. It is. It is stronger. Nice. Oh, this battery is about to die. When I tell y'all that this shower head is bomb, y'all don't look at my closet, it's a mess. The shower head is bomb. Like, let me turn it on. See if y'all can see it. It's like soap scum in the grout because we couldn't get to it. So now that I can get to it, I can scrub it, but I couldn't wash it down because our water pressure was bad, but look. I'll leave a link for this Amazon shower head down below. I'm so excited. I'm about to order a second one for our other bathroom, but it looks so good. And I can actually properly clean the shower. So yeah, that's all y'all. That's it for this week's vlogs. I'm gonna start vlogging for next week tomorrow. So thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. I'll be decorating. I'm not playing with y'all. I said that last week, but I told y'all I'd be lying. But I'm not blind. I'm not lying this time. <laughs>